kicking off week 18 with mile marker 1800. We thought surely one of the people before us would make a mile marker sign. No luck. I think it's really a testament of how tired we are and how lazy we're becoming that we also did not stop to make one. But that's fine. 1800. It's Stairmaster day today. And I think for these first probably two hours, we're just climbing up this waterfall. It just keeps going up. It's beautiful. It's a little hazy here. I can see why they call it the White Mountains. We are on the top of Mount Musalak, taking in the views. It's beautiful. I do not see all the things we do. What's that? Mount Musalak, 4,802 feet. Nice lunch spot here. <laughs> Frog just jumps. <laughs> Is it cold? It's fine. Step in the water. Ooh. I assume the board does not stay above the water. <laughs> Cheater! Surprise, surprise! We're actually back in Vermont! <laughs> One would think. <laughs> Jeez. We are on trail, by the way. <laughs> We're not walking through a river. Got frog down here, and a cup of tea. You got it, Katie. There's like spider woman up there. She is. Oh man.
Finishing round two of our back-to-back -back slacks. Uh, we were dropped off this morning around 6.30, bagged both Kingsman Peaks. Um, it was pretty challenging, the trail today, pretty technical, a lot more technical than we've had so far, and had to get our feet wet a couple times with the water crossings. The forecast today was, you guessed it, rain, rain, and more rain. But I feel like the rain really held out for us. <laughs> it really didn't rain that badly. And despite our wet and soggy feet, we get to stay at a hostel tonight. So we'll be drying them out. We are at the Notch Hostel. Right. So you know we're cooking up a storm here. We've got our salad station, got to get our veggies in. We have some Texas toast that's going to go in the oven and we're going to make a little pasta, pesto pasta. Heartbreak. We're up here on the Franconia Ridge. Garfield descent after a long wet day. I wasn't prepared for the trail to turn into a waterfall on our descent from Garfield today. Who did this to us? Who put the trail here? So we bailed on our original plan and instead of going to the, I think, Guy out, Gaio shelter, we're at the Gale Head Hut. But now we have soup and tea. How's your soup? <laughs> Warming. <laughs> My fingers are still frozen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hard at work. I want those floors to shine. <laughs> wow. Blue skies and a view. The sun is shining. The birds are chirping. We are in the process of drying. Uh, we're able to do a work for stay last night at Galehead Hut, which was awesome. So we got there maybe a quarter after four and talked to the crew at the hut, asked if they had any uh, work for stay opened that evening. And they were like, yeah, we got two spots. so. We kind of just sat off to the side, but no complaints because it was dry in there and we got to have some soup. <laughs> um, and then after everyone was finished eating, we were given some chores to do and some leftovers from dinner to eat. And 
we had our own little corner in the dining area that we got to sleep on. So it was nice to just be inside for the night. Uh, but hopefully the weather has turned and we will have some clear sky days for the rest of the week. Maybe, hopefully. Okay. That'd be nice. I think we're also getting to the stage of the through hike where things are breaking. I had a little fall yesterday and broke my, well, landed on my trekking pole and now it's a little wonky. <laughs> so have to replace that. And also my sleeping pad has a leak in it. And Deceiver's camera lens has a spot. So, uh, it'll all work out. We had a little bit of clear sky. You can see the clouds coming in to our right here. And on the left side, same deal. <laughs> but right here, you can get a little view of Franconia Ridge. Yeah. Or we can cake. Mm. Free cake. Free. 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 So, so there you go. You got a little bit more to put on here. Oh, wow, this yeah. looks amazing. Real <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a special dessert for you at the end. Is that enough? You want more? Oh, I that think that's great. plenty that's for starters. Start. <laughs> okay, we're sitting here with our trail angel lobster man, Chris. <laughs> he came all the way from Maine to come out and meet us with the most amazing, delicious lobster rolls we've ever had in our whole lives. So thank you so much for awesome. taking the time to come and meet us. Really appreciate it. Well, they're wicked good. You guys are wicked good too. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We've got our bunks here at Mitzvah Hut. Not bad. Right now it's just the two of us, but I hope no one else comes because our socks smell horrible. <laughs> Stayed at Mitzpah Hut last night. Woke up this morning in a little bit of a cloud, but looks like it's moving through. I think shrouded in clouds in front of us is Mount Washington. Somewhere, somewhere out there. We've got a little snow left. It is mid-June and there's still some patches of snow over here right below Mount Washington. We have made it here to the top of Mount Washington, home to the worst weather in America. And we've got blue skies, a little bit, a little blue sky.
when he finds out there's a road that leads up here. All these people around us just drove up here. <laughs> 332.9 miles left. Thank you. Thank you so much. So now, after summiting Washington, we can see where our trail goes. So the first mountain there is Mount Clay. The second one, I believe it was Jefferson. Then comes Adams. And then we're going to go over Madison and going to try to hit the tent site today. If it works out with the weather. All right, we're at the summit of Madison. Pace, how do you feel? <laughs> this is our last mountain for today before we head down to the, what is it called? Osgood? Osgood tent site? But we can't let our guards down yet. Apparently this descent is supposed to be worse than Mount Garfield, so. <laughs> Let's see. It's just large rock fields. So yesterday we hiked from Mitzvah Hut up and over Mount Washington uh, through the Presidentials, ending 14 to 15 miles later at Osgood campsite. And the fact that we had good weather yesterday, we didn't get rained on, we didn't get caught in a thunderstorm or anything was just such a blessing. Um, we talk about this a lot on trail, but we just really feel like uh, God's been working out for us and taking care of us as we've been on this journey. So just very thankful for that. It feels uh, pretty basic to be praying for good weather. <laughs> um, but then I think about the fact that we live outside and we have near constant exposure to the elements and I feel less bad about it. Uh, so yesterday was definitely a really, really tough day. Um, pretty technical, pretty rocky, pretty steep. I think the last three miles took us three hours and I was really dragging towards the end of the day. Just every step felt like such a such a challenge wasn't sure if I was gonna make it to the campsite <laughs> um, but we we made it today's and today's a new day so we're uh, going up and over wildcat D I think which is also pretty notorious, has a pretty notorious reputation out here on the AT. So, <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. So well camouflaged. Hey buddy. Hop. Oh. Wildcat is a wild one, huh? <laughs> Not one I have 
Let's go to Zmeng. Pretty cool viewpoint. We got Washington to the left, and then you can see Adams and Madison to the right, those two peaks, and a little visitor center where we just came from, way down there. We decided to push on yesterday and camp a little past Carter Hut to see if we could grab a nice sunset and or sunrise. And it was so, so worth it. It was one of the most beautiful sunrises I think I've ever seen. Uh, and today we'll be finishing up the whites and heading into town, heading into Gorham where we will hopefully be able to get showered and laundered. We actually took a shower at the Pinkham Notch Visitor Center or the Joe Dodge Lodge yesterday and then just got back into our stinky, smelly clothes like the hiker trash we have become. Except for the stupid bugs. On the summit of Mount Moriah, our last 4,000 footer of the whites. And what a day, what a way to end this section. So I have showered, I feel clean and fresh and brand new, um, but I just wanted to wrap up a week, 19, 18, week 18. <laughs> um, it was definitely a challenging week between the weather and the terrain and just the whites in general, uh, but today was super rewarding. I think probably one of my favorite days on trail so just a nice way to round out the week and looking forward to hitting 1900 miles bright and early tomorrow morning, 1900 miles for week 19 and getting out of New Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs>